Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be uh, covering functions for the September 10, 2020 exam. Shift one. So in the uh, functions topic of functions, only two problems were asked. The first one uh, is over here. So we have been given a function with a domain 0 to 10 and a range 1 to 20. And the function is defined as fx is equals to this, this, this. Then we have to uh, compute whether this uh, function is bijective or one to one or on to or neither of these. So we know that uh, for a one to one function, the relation is like this. If, if this is the domain, and this is the range should be like this or like this like that if the function is like this so this could be like a b c d e f g c is f d goes to g and a and B both point to E. Then this is many one. So many point to one. So this is not one to one. Okay. So this is not one one function. One one function is such that uh, every point in the domain points to only uh, one value in the range and uh, no two values in the domain can point to a single value in the range. Now in this function if you can see the definition for x being 6 to 7, all of them have an equal value 10. So, so values like 6, 6.1, 6.9, 7 and 6.23, blah, 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 whatever infinite number of values of x correspond to a single point of value 10 in the range. So this is not a 1 to 1 function, it is not a 1 1 function, this is not. And we all know that bijective function is what? When the function is both 1, 1 and on 2. So if the function is not 1, 1, this cannot be bijective either. So this option is gone and this option is gone. Now we have to see whether this given function is uh, on 2 or not. Okay. So let's just draw a diagram. And we know that what is the definition for an on 2 function. This is A, B, C and this is D, E. Each value in the range should have at least one value in the domain. So this is an onto function. Now, if this is a given function, E does not have any uh, corresponding value in the domain. So this is not an onto function. So none of the values in the range should be such that there is no corresponding value in the domain. So let us draw the diagram and uh, we can figure out what is going on over here. Let's draw the graph for the function. This is x axis, this is y. So when x is 0, what is this? 60 by 3 is 20. Let us say this is 20 and x is 0. When x is 6, what is this? 60 minus 5 times 6 is 30. 30 by 3 is 10. So 10. And when is x? goes to 6 to 7, the value stays at 10, like this. So this is a straight line from here. And when it goes from 7 to 10, so 31 minus uh, 7 times 3 is 21, so 10. When x is 10, so 31 minus 30 is 1. So like this. So this is my given function, right? As you can see, the domain lies between uh, 0 to 10 and the range lies between 1 to 20. So given uh, range is 1 to 20. So all the values between 1 to 20 of y have at least one or more values. All these values of 1 to 10 have just one uh, corresponding value in the domain except for this. y is equals to 10. It has all these values of x. So this is an onto function, but this is not a one-to-one -one function. So this option is also incorrect. 
this is the correct one now let us uh, see the next problem so only two problems were function uh, from functions were asked this function is given to us as fx is equals to square root of log of base to the 10 5x minus x square by 4 we are being asked what is the domain of this function so to find out the value of domain on this function let us just start forming constraints on it so this is square root we know that uh, for a given uh, real function fx uh, whatever is inside the square root cannot be negative not negative or greater than equal to 0 hence this is the first constraint log of 5x minus x square by 4 to the base 10 it has to be greater than or equal to 0 now the second uh, constraint log 10 whatever is inside has to be greater than 0 because uh, log of 0 to the base 10 is also not defined this is also not defined so this whole thing has to be greater than 0 not greater than or equal to 0 but greater than 0 right so we will solve these two uh, inequalities and we will find out the solution first let, let us look at this one if this whole thing is greater than or equal to 0 that means 5x minus x square by 4 is greater than or equal to 10 raised to the power 0 or 5x minus x square by 4 is greater than or equal to 1 or 5x minus x square is greater than or equal to 4 or x square minus 5x plus 4 is less than or equal to 0 right so x minus 1 into x minus 4 is less than or equal to 0 or wavy curve method x lies between 1 and 4 1 and 4 is an option yes let us look at the second inequality 5x minus x square by 4 greater than 0 so 5x minus x square is greater than 0 or x square minus 5x is less than 0 since I have multiplied this with minus sign the inequality sign has to change or x into x minus 5 is less than 0 or this again we be curve method x lies between 0 to 5 is this an option no so let us compare this is 0 this is 5 we are saying that this x lies between this 0 and 5 are not included but I am also saying it has to lie between 1 and 4 1 and 4 are included so the overlap is obviously this value which is 1 to 4 both 1 and 4 are included so this option is correct hence done so only two problems were asked from functions I will uh, cover the rest of the topics which I have not covered till now in the next video so thank you everyone for watching the video see you next time